next in line brother. <laughs> so I, I want to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for being here. Uh, I want to, whether you knew Rob by Rob, or Robbie, or Robert, or Bob, or Bobby, or Hatch, Hatchy. or Hatchy, okay? yeah. we all know him one way, shape, or form, okay? And I'm sure he's here with us now, <clears throat> thanking each of you for being a part of his life and, and being here. I want to thank Rob uh, for being my older brother. Uh, he kind of led the way in our family. There were seven of us kids. Uh, one, uh, uh, Jeffrey passed away when he was five months old, so there were seven of us. And he started off. He led the way. So I want to thank Rob for being there for me, showing me certain things, okay? Showing me and sticking up for me, okay? I remember when I was in kindergarten, the teacher accused me of whistling. <laughs> and I told the teacher, I don't know how to whistle. <laughs> I just, she didn't believe me. So I said, well, go ask my brother, Rob. He's in, he's in first grade. Right up there, I think Mrs. Turley was a teacher. So I, I can picture it now. We're out in the hallway. He knocks on the door. Can you send Rob Hatch out here? So Rob comes out. Can your brother, we, we thought he was whistling, you know, can he whistle? Nope, he doesn't know how to whistle. He just... <laughs> so thank you, Rob, for sticking up for me. I think he has trouble with whistling, okay? So he, he led the way, which was good in some ways. In other ways, it was kind of difficult because when you're the oldest, sometimes you carry that burden of, uh, you gotta set the example, okay? And me being the second, I appreciate Rob for being there and taking the brunt of <laughs> some of those issues <laughs> that I or our brothers and sister may have caused, but Rob, you should have done that. You sh you're the oldest. You know, you should have told your brothers and sisters, you know, you, you got to set the example. So, so I looked up to Rob. He led the way for us kids. So I appreciate him. And I want to pretend that I am my father. And my father loved you. My father loved you, Rob, even though you didn't hear it enough. He loved you, and he appreciated all the things that you had done in your life, helping, you know, with roofing and with the house and the chores and, and doing this and plowing and driving. I mean, I'm, I'm a little tired today because, you know, I, I couldn't stop thinking about Rob and when we were kids and what we were doing, you know. So, uh... My mother appreciated Rob. She would say, I love you, Robbie. You know, he had done a lot of things. He had done construction and built a, a craft shop for her in a patio. So uh, I just want to recognize him for being there and, and showing us kids, you know, which way to go, okay? So thank you, Rob, for being my older brother. I appreciate and love you very much, okay? And uh, we'll all see you soon.